Now, for a given phase of a substance, it's going to exist at a unique temperature and pressure, i.e. our phase will exist at a unique state. A state is described by observable macroscopic properties, and a property of a substance is something such as mass, temperature, pressure, volume, and density, something that's measurable and can be used to define a state. Typically, we need two independent properties to define a state, and we need three if we exist on a phase boundary. Four, if we only had temperature and pressure, we would not know if water is existing as a liquid or solid at point B, as a liquid or vapor at point C, or as a solid liquid or vapor at point A. Now states will be noted by integers, i.e. 1, 2, 3 for closed systems and circle numbers for open systems. Now thermodynamic properties are going to fall under two categories. Intensive properties are independent of mass, and these properties are things such as temperature, pressure, and density. These properties can be determined via a simple thought experiment. Say you have a block material. If you cut that block in half, do each of the halves have the same property? For instance, if we have a block material existing at a temperature and we cut in half, each half will exist at the same temperature. Therefore, those properties are intensive. If not, those properties are then extensive and they depend upon the mass of the system. Extensive properties are things such as mass, volume, and energy. Say we're given the following list of properties, and we want to determine if they are intensive or extensive. We know if temperature is intensive, it does not depend upon the mass of the system. Thermal conductivity is a measure of how easily heat propagates through material, and this does not depend upon the mass of the system. Therefore, thermal conductivity is intensive. Density is intensive. It does not depend upon the quantity of matter you have, for water has the same density, regardless as if you have a bucket or swimming pool of it. Thermal diffusivity, which is the thermal conductivity per density and specific heat of our material, is intensive. That does not depend upon the quantity of mass we have. Total energy, which is the sum of our internal, kinetic, and potential, which we'll talk about shortly, is going to be extensive. For kinetic energy is dependent upon our mass, 1 half mv squared. Our potential energy is based upon our mass times our gravitational acceleration and elevation and our energy of our system is also going to be dependent upon mass. Kinematic viscosity, the resistance to deformation of a fluid, is going to be intensive. Water has the same kinematic viscosity regardless of the quantity you have. Volume, or the space a material occupies, is an extensive property. Your specific heat capacity is how much heat has to be supplied to raise a unit mass a unit degree temperature. Now the specific heat capacity, although it has mass within the formulation, is a property of the material and does not depend upon the mass. Therefore, it is intensive. Magnetic permeability is a measure of the resistance of material against the formation of magnetic field that's being induced within. And that does not depend upon the mass either. Lastly, our coefficient of thermal expansion determines how much material will expand based upon a change of temperature. And once again, that does not depend upon mass. So therefore, it is an intensive property.